like to welcome you to Cascadian Farms Home Farm. Here at the home farm, we rely exclusively on biological pest control. I don't use any pesticides. And I'm able to do that because of the relatively small field size here. We've got a lot of natural area surrounding us, and the beneficial insects that exist with the pest insects out in the natural world, there's this ecological balance. They're both there, but nobody's in such a huge number that, it's, that it causes any problems. And that same ecological balance flows into the farm and produces a situation here on the farm where the beneficials are in enough supply that they're able to keep the pests in check and I don't see any economic damage from pest insects. Cascadian Farm started here in 1972 with the production of a few fruits and vegetables that were sold fresh into the Pike Place Market. Certainly we are um, you know, the touchstone for small planet foods uh, because here at the home farm we're of a scale and uh, carrying on the traditions that founded the company and founded the brand. I started here in 1993 as manager of the home farm and set my sights on recreating the home farm and changing it from the hub of a 300 plus acre farming operation to the standalone small farm that it is today. Um, I'd like everybody to meet my wife Harlan and Harlan, why don't you just tell them what you do here at the farm? Hi. So Jim and I have been farming together for over 35 years and I've always taken care of the marketing and quality assurance end of things. This is what we use for our um, for our ice cream and shortcake because it has the strongest blueberry flavor. And they're my favorites. So here we go. So are. did you find some uh, berries down there? I did. Mm, good. Great. Good berries, yummy berries, the best berries. It's really a great atmosphere underneath here. Let's see if I can find some, oh yeah, here's some fruit. So you can see the hardy kiwis growing clusters here up along the wires. So you guys are probably wondering about this mountain of sawdust I have here. The sawdust is used as a mulch on the blueberries. It helps to keep down the weeds, it helps to hold water in, and over time it decomposes and becomes the food for the blueberries. Some people take you to their kitchen to show you what they're cooking up. Not me. I do my cooking right here. Compost is a real key to organic agriculture. Right after we add more material and get this thing going, uh, the temperatures can reach 150, 160 degrees. So that heat, all that heat, is a lot of biology going on. Billions and billions of microbes working out out in in this compost they're breaking it down breaking down the, the woody particles and converting it to soil nutrients the hydro plant is up um, in the little uh, notch where all of the, the upper hills drain into the one creek bed here on the home farm we have a small scale hydroelectric plant that produces 35 kw 35 kilowatts of power we power three households for about eight months of the year and we're able to charge our little electric truck with it. We're able to run processing equipment in the off season, put extra lights in the greenhouse during the winter months. Um, the, the power is ours to do what we want uh, during the wet part of the year. So this is the roadside stand. Uh, stand is open from May through October. We highlight all of the Small Planet Foods organic products at the roadside stand. We have the Mir Glen brand. Cascadian Farm cereals, the spreads, and the latest addition is the Lara Bar line, which includes the organic chocolate bar. Our refrigerator case has a lot of what we make. Of course, our, our homemade ice cream, which is a real top-notch thing. This time of year, the blueberries are what really sells. Um, here, have some.